you've been infected. Yeah, it looks like you, you may have been bitten. I don't know who you are or where you're going, but I'm in need of something and I really do need help. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm in need of the G-Virus because somebody that I know is in desperate, desperate need of help. It's a little girl. Her name's Sherry. Sherry Birkin. She's a cute little girl and unfortunately she got infected not too long ago. And that's why I have you tied up. The reason why is because I need some answers. I need to know if you have the G virus. I know you've been working for Umbrella and because of that I, I fully don't trust you. In fact, I don't trust you at all. Chris warned me Oh, I know a lot. Mm-hmm. In fact, I'm looking for Chris right now, but I just stumbled across a diary and um, he wrote down that he is in Europe right now, so I won't be able to see him. All I'm going to be seeing <laughs> this summer is Zombies. More zombies. It's a really fun summer. But anyways, I am going to have to get some answers from you. Chris has a lot of information and Umbrella isn't too happy with that. No, 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 no. So I'm just going to kind of easy on you. Very, very easy. Yes. This information is rather important, isn't it? The G virus. Oh, yes. Oh, I know. I, I stumbled across a mutant earlier. It was rather scary. Don't, 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 don't bother escaping. I know, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Chris taught me everything I needed to know. Oh, yes. Well, once you went to military, you got sent away. And taught me all I needed to know. Pretty, pretty good with firearms as well. So I'm just going to extract a little bit here. Oh yes, I know about that incident. With Jill Valentine, Barry, Wesker, and my brother. That's why I've been quite concerned about the entire situation. You see, there's a lot that I know, but then there's also a lot that I don't know.
It looks like you are slowly, slowly turning into a zombie. And I'm going to have to use a different tool then. Okay, so that you don't bite. I can't have you biting me. No, I've worked so hard to get over here. I've went through so many doors, picked up so many herbs. I've, I've killed a lot of zombies, so I don't really have time to waste on you. Mm -mm. Not a lot of time, unfortunately. But it seems like you have a lot of time to waste. You're wasting my time. Mm-hmm. Waste, 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 waste. You are a waster. Yes. Oh, I'm not that sick. No, I'm actually... Actually... I'm actually the protagonist. You're wondering where my friend went, huh? So you ran into Leon. He's not technically a friend. He's just somebody that I met during this whole outbreak on Raccoon City. I personally don't know him. Um, he and I were trying to escape, and unfortunately, the car that we were in crashed. It crashed thanks to a zombie. And so, because of that, we decided to meet here in the police station. Yes. This isn't going to hurt too much, I promise. Just a little bit. I would rather have you not ask me too many questions about my personal life. You don't even know who I am or where I'm from. And you might use this against me in the future. I'm on to you. But I know that these are your last moments alive. So I don't think that you would use that time to light me. I don't think that you would use the last moments, your last breath on talking about just me and nonsense. You could use this time to tell me where the G-Virus is and where William Birkin and his wife where they've kept the G-Virus because I know that it's somewhere and if you don't tell me you will still turn into a zombie you hear that? you'll still be a zombie regardless, so you might as well do the right thing you might as well help Poor little girl. Heck, the guy who invented this, his daughter is the one suffering from it. You would think that. You would think that he would want to help her out, and I'm sure he would. I'm sure the mom would too. I don't really know much about the viruses. 
all I know is that I need the antidote, I need the vaccine in order to cure Sherry. She's a good kid. There's a lot of potential, there's a lot of hope with her. I see it inside of her. She's she's such a sweet little girl. She's very rebellious too, which kind of concerns me a little, especially out and about with a bunch of zombies. I should have never sent her on that mission, really. I mean, I guess I didn't really send her too much. I just... She's just a very rebellious girl, is all. And spending time apart is... It's been very difficult for me. I don't know. There's a maternal side that has... <sighs> entered my life. She wouldn't understand that, would you? No, you wouldn't, because you are withholding valuable information. And sooner or later, karma will get to you. In about five minutes from now. I'm not being sassy at all. No, no, no. I'm not being sarcastic or sassy. I'm just telling you how it is. This is the reality that we live in now. Raccoon City, you know, I, I would have never, to be honest, I would have never come to the city if I had known Chris wasn't here. This whole time I thought that Chris was here, but nope, he's in Europe. He's somewhere else. And, I mean, I'm a little upset. I wish he had told me earlier. He did tell me. He did ask me to forgive him. And I will. I will. Especially once this nightmare is completely over with. I just want it to end. So that I can get on with my life. And ride my motorcycle. I really like riding bikes. It's kind of just a hobby of mine. As you can see with my jacket, you can't see the back, but it looks good. Mm -hmm. Again, why am I telling you all of this? Gosh, it must be that maternal side of me that's again coming out. I just want to be very kind and friendly and helpful. Yet at the same time, I guess, interrogate you with information, which is not very maternal of me. It's very conflicting, in a way. It's a, it's a paradox. I'm just curious to see how much um, time that you have. I need to know. And if I get a little closer, I can examine your head a little bit better and the injury. And maybe I'm able to get a cure for you. Who knows? I'm not sure exactly about what cures are out yet and which ones no idea what's available, basically, and maybe if I talk to Sherry's mother or William, I'll be able to get something for you. But, again, you're for her umbrella, which makes me very, very, I feel very cautious right now about helping you, but at the same time, I just, I can't let you die either. Um, I know I've been joking around this whole time and I was trying to use fear to get to you, but I'm thinking that it was honestly just a, a ploy to um, make you change your mind about handing over the G-Virus, but it looks like you are very loyal to the people that you work with. Okay, I'm gonna try to help you out, but there's not much I can do. Okay. 
how many fingers am I holding right now? And how many am I holding now? Okay, perfect. I'm gonna do this side. How many am I holding? Excellent. And how many hold how many fingers am I holding now? Perfect. Okay, you're doing excellent. And um again, I'm gonna see what I can do. I wanna see how much uh how much this virus has spread. I wanna know if you have any time left. And it looks like I don't really have a lot of time, honestly. It looks like you really don't have much time at all. Trying to relax you a little bit. your flesh is changing color and it looks like it's turning more of like a purplish type of hue so I think that it's it's definitely not a good sign and um pretty please could you just give me the G virus already okay well I see how it is I definitely did try my best and I even tried to help you but Looks like you still don't want to help me out. Okay. Well, I wish you well on this journey in life. I'm gonna ask you, do you want me to... Do you want me to shoot you after... You've turned, or do you want to remain a zombie? Okay, well, your wish is granted. I will, I will do that. And I'm also going to have to find somebody else to ask or interrogate so that I can get the G-virus antidote. I keep saying G-virus, but when I say G-virus, I'm looking for the G-virus vaccine. Yeah. Well. There's one, there's two people I know that could have it, so I'm going to try and see if I can chat with them and get it. Okay. Too bad Chris isn't here to help me out. This would be a lot easier. I will try my best to get a hold of Leon when I can. I bet he's in this building right now. I just have to search a little bit. But I ran across this uh, creature when I went down the hallway and it was very scary. The creature had an extremely long tongue. I think I'm gonna call it a licker because that tongue is endless and quite frankly it, it's disturbing. So, yeah. Little, little fun thing that I came across like an hour ago. Not an hour ago. A while back, actually. Well, hopefully you have better luck next time and myself. There is this one thing I'm trying to complete. It's, um, well, I used a lighter to open or burn a painting above a fireplace and I was able to retrieve a, um, a red jewel. And there's this other jewel that I got too. And I'm pretty sure I just have to place it on the statue. 
and something will happen, so we'll see. There's just a lot of puzzles around here, and I'm getting quite hungry, so um, I'm going to try to see if I can find anything. If not, I have to tough this out. Okay, well, take care, and um, again, I will I will do what you wanted, and um, yeah, that, that sounds good.